What's unique about uh, these talks is that we've uh, discovered a means of investigating the nonlinear domain. We found a means of investigating that which is unknowable by ordinary means. And I share with you my own mm, experiences as consciousness advanced throughout this lifetime and my own awareness of reality as I experience it. So it's both subjective and in terms of the world objective and that we have um, discovered a means of verifying truth uh, that's never been discovered before, which makes it a very useful tool. And of course, everybody here is pretty aware that we discovered that kinesiology itself made a very uh, incredible tool available to almost everyone, if they calibrate over 200 and their partner does, and their question is over 200, the results are valid. Uh, we didn't even know that when we wrote Power Versus Force, we said we thought anybody could do it. And then I would get letters from people uh, that they were unable to make it work. And they were trying to find out how to get even with their mother-in-law or make money on the stock market. And it could be the intention behind those things, I don't know. <laughs> but I began to suspect that. And then we discovered that um, if, if the, uh, the question needs to be integrous, the intention uh, is what really sets the calibratable level of consciousness. The, the two people involved both need to be above 200. So it works, therefore, only for about 15% of the population, which I didn't know when I wrote Power versus Force. I think when I revised it for Hay House, so I did put that in there, the caveat that uh, the, the purpose has to be integrous. The discovery was that kinesiology was asking a question of the field of consciousness. Consciousness registers only that which is. Consequently, the other error in power versus force, as I said, it was true versus false. And the correct, the correct uh, explanation of the phenomena is it's either true or not true. Uh, so because that which is real exists, then that which is real registers within the field of consciousness. That which is unreal, that which the world calls false, has no independent existence, does not register in consciousness, and therefore gives you a weak response, and in terms of the world, a no. We said it's more analogous to and electricity going down a wire. When the electricity is there, it's on. When the electricity is off, it's not on. But there is no independent, existent thing such as offness. That's an important point to get. There is no such thing as offness. And we'll get to that more later in the lecture because the lecture is supposed to be about uh, Supposed to be about, what's it about today? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, anyway, <laughs> whatever it's about. Uh, it's, it's extremely important to realize this essential truth. <laughs> that there is no such thing as offness. We'll expand upon that later.